Good day, young scientists. Inside this box are clues to some of Earth's most amazing creatures. What if I told you that the frog, a bee, and even the invisible helpers in yogurt all share something in common? Today, we're going to uncover how scientists group living things, and you'll become expert organism detectives. Ready? Let's open the box of life. By the end of our lesson, you will be able to classify animals and microorganisms according to their unique traits, describe the key characteristics of each group, explain why classification is important for understanding and protecting our planet's biodiversity. Before we explore animals and microbes, let's recall what we know about plants. Which of these words are flowering plants, angiosperms, or non-flowering gymnosperms. Great job! That warm-up shows how grouping living things helps us make sense of nature. Imagine the animal world as a giant library. To find the book quickly, we place it in the right section. Scientists do the same with animals, grouping them by their body structures and behaviors. Let's explore each of the six major animal groups in detail. Mammals. Key features. Warm-blooded, have hair or fur. Mothers produce milk and most give birth to live young. Why important? Hair helps control body temperature and milk ensures babies grow strong. Fun examples. Whale, the biggest mammal and it lives entirely in the ocean. Bat, the only mammal that can truly fly. Humans. Yes, we are mammals too. Cool fact. Some mammals like the platypus lay eggs, showing how diverse this group is. Reptiles. Key features. Cold-blooded scaly dry skin usually lay eggs with leathery shells. Examples. Snakes, lizards, turtles, crocodiles. Interesting twist. Crocodiles can live on land and in water, and are ancient survivors from the time of dinosaurs. Adaptation note, their scales protect them from drying out and from predators. Insects, key features, three body parts, head, thorax, abdomen, six legs, usually two pairs of wings. Examples, bees, butterflies, ants, dragonflies. Why they matter, they pollinate plants, help decompose waste, and are food for many animals. Amazing skill. Some insects, like ants, can lift objects many times their own weight. Birds. Key features. Warm-blooded, feathers, beaks, and hard-shelled eggs. Examples. Eagles, parrots, penguins. Special adaptation. Hollow bones make them light enough to fly. Fun fact. Not all birds fly. Ostriches and penguins are excellent runners or swimmers instead. Fish. Key features. Live in water, breathe through gills, have fins instead of legs, and are cold-blooded. Examples. Milkfish, bangus, clownfish, sharks. Adaptations. Scales protect their bodies. Some fish can even glow in deep ocean darkness. Amphibians. Key features. Live part of their lives in water and part on land. Breathe through skin and lungs, smooth, moist skin. Examples, frogs, salamanders, toads. Life story. They start as gilled tadpoles in water and grow into land-dwelling adults, a process called metamorphosis. Fact file. Amphibians are sensitive to pollution, so their presence shows a healthy environment. Quick recap. Mammals equals milk and fur. Reptiles equal scales and cold blood. Insects equal six legs. Birds equals feathers and beaks. Fish equals gills and fins. Amphibians equals double life in water and land. Now, let's zoom in to a world too small for our eyes. Microorganisms. Living things so tiny, we need a microscope to see them. Two important types are fungi and bacteria. 
fungi chytrates, eukaryotic cells, complex like plants as animals, can't make their own food, reproduce by spores. Roles in nature, decomposers, break down dead plants and animals, recycling nutrients back to the soil. Food and medicine, mushrooms for meals, yeast for bread, and penicillin for antibiotics. Example, bread mold, those fuzzy green spots that appear if bread is left too long. Bacteria, key traits, single-celled no nucleus, come in many shapes, round, spiral, rod-like. Helpful bacteria, digestive helpers, live in our stomach to help digest food. Soil workers, fix nitrogen so plants can grow. Food makers, create yogurt and cheese. Harmful bacteria. Some cause diseases like pneumonia or food poisoning. But washing hands and using antibiotics can protect us. Amazing fact. There are as many bacteria cells in your body as human cells. Today, we learned how animals and microorganisms are grouped based on their characteristics. Classification helps scientists communicate, study, and protect the diversity of life on Earth. On a piece of paper, write the most important thing you learned today and one question you still have about animals or microorganisms. Great job today, young scientists. You explored the amazing variety of animals, from the smallest insect to the largest whale, and discovered the hidden world of fungi and bacteria. Remember, classifying living things isn't just about naming them. It helps us understand how they survive how they depend on one another, and how we can protect their habitats. As you go about your day, look around. Every bird that sings, every ant on the ground, even the tiny microbes you can't see, all have an important role in our planet's balance. Keep asking questions, keep observing, and keep caring for nature. I'm proud of your curiosity and hard work. This is Teacher Waven, reminding you that science is everywhere. Stay curious and keep exploring. See you in our next adventure in Science 5. Now, with the help of your teacher, complete the following activity.